Well, good morning, guys. I am currently sitting outside of the WW studio so that I can go in and get all of the details on the new program. It's early. It was a drive, but it is so worth it. I can't wait to get all of the details and share that with you. We're going to be talking about the new programs. I'm going to go over some positives and negatives of each of the program options. And also we're going to talk a little bit about sustainability of the programs. And then of course, I'll be letting you know what program I will be choosing to follow moving forward. So if you want to hear all of the details about the new WW programs and the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly, just stay tuned. Welcome back. I am home from the WW workshop and I have all of the details on the three new programs for you. Yes, three new programs. So all of the speculation, the rumors, all of that actually ended up being absolutely the reality. So WW did come out with three new programs. We have the blue program, the green program, and the purple program. And I have my hands on the new material. So this is the new weigh-in booklet, the book that talks all about the new programs, and of course, the weekly from this week. So I have all of the details to share with you guys about the new program. So let's get into it. So before we talk about the different colors and the different programs and what's involved in those different programs, I want to first talk about a couple of other things in regards to this change with WW. So over the course of the last few months, they have had five to 6,000 test subjects for these different programs. They allowed them to select the program they wanted to follow and they followed that program for the last few months and then they came together and shared their results. So it is proven that none of the three programs produce faster weight loss results than another one. So whether you do the blue, the green, or the purple, your weight loss results are dependent on you working the program. Not one of those three programs is going to produce faster results. So that is good to know. And secondly, again, this was test piloted by thousands of individuals. In addition to that, Weight Watchers did a ton of research and market analysis to come up with these programs. They did not want to steer away from the zero point foods. They did not want to steer away from the smart points base because that has worked so effectively for so many individuals. In fact, smart points has been around for at least a year to two years prior to introducing freestyle. So this way of eating this smart points revolution of freestyle, of smart points has been around for several years and is proven to be effective. But Weight Watchers wanted to give us options and let us choose the program that best fits us. Nobody knows us better than we know ourselves. So we're able to make an educated decision on the program that we want to follow based on the information given from WW and us knowing what program is going to work best for us. So I want to dive into each of the different colors of programs. And then at the end, I'm going to share a few other bits of information that I received at my workshop. So let's get started with the blue plan. For all of you freestyle lovers out there, no fear, freestyle isn't going anywhere. The blue plan is freestyle. They've just changed the name to the blue plan. Nothing else about it has change. There are still over 200 zero point foods. Your smart points or your points values are going to be exactly the same. Eggs are still zero. Starchy vegetables are still zero. Literally nothing has changed about the blue plan. So if you have been doing freestyle the last couple of years and it is working for you and you are having success, by all means continue on freestyle. I love that WW didn't take that away because as you know in the past when they change programs, they literally change programs. They discard the old program and bring in a completely new way of eating a new program. And they didn't do that this time because freestyle has been such a success for so many people. So I love, love, love that WW did not do away with freestyle. 
So I want to read to you right out of the booklet from WW what they said about the blue program. So it says blue guides you towards a healthy list of foods that form the basis around healthy eating habits. So if you are someone that struggles with the foods that you're choosing to eat, the blue program is a great choice for you. With a moderate smart points budget that you can spend on the other foods that you love. You'll build meals around the 200 zero point foods. So this doesn't mean eat only zero point foods, but build the basis of your meals around those. And this includes fruits, veggies, lean proteins, and that includes starchy veggies, corns, peas, and those types of things. And then you can use your moderate smart points budget to fill the gaps with other things. So literally you guys, it is blue, it is freestyle, that hasn't changed at all. So that is the first option, the blue program. So now the green program. Now the green program is reminiscent of smart points before freestyle. So with the green program, you're going to receive over 100 zero point foods. You will receive a little larger daily smart points budget because you are going to have to count things such as eggs and lean protein that were zero points on freestyle. So it is very similar to the old smart points plan again before freestyle. So if you are somebody who struggles on freestyle because maybe you overeat the zero point foods or you eat too large of portions and your calories are above a deficit to lose weight or maybe you're somebody that just for your own peace of mind in your program you just need to track everything in order for you to be successful you need to weigh measure and track everything that goes into your mouth with the exception of fruits and vegetables. That is somebody that would benefit from being on the green program, the old smart points program. So again, if you are somebody that feels the need to track everything in order to be successful and see that scale move, the green plan is definitely a good option for you. With the green plan, you won't get less than 30 smart points a day. So on the blue plan, you can have a minimum of 23 per day. On the green plan, you will never have less than 30 smart points a day. Because remember, you are tracking everything other than fruits and vegetables. Let's talk a little bit about the green plan as far as what WW says the green plan is. So I'm just going to read this again to you. Green guides you towards a smaller list of foods that form the basis of healthy eating habits. So very similar to the blue program with a sizable smart points budget to spend on other foods that you love. You'll build meals and snacks around the 100 plus zero point foods, including fruits and veggies, and track all of the other foods that have the smart points value. So that is the difference between the green and the blue. Less zero point foods and a heftier daily smart points budget because you are having to literally track weigh and measure everything other than fruits and vegetables. And the third option is the purple plan. Now the purple plan has over 300, 300 zero point foods. These include the 200 that you are allowed on the blue plan, the 100 that you're allowed on the green plan, and an additional 100 zero point foods that include things such as whole grains. So this means all of your whole grain vegetable based pastas, oatmeal whole rolled oats not the little flavored packets those have points but actual oatmeal out of the container it also includes rice like brown rice barley all of those have been added to the zero point food list as well as potatoes so all of your white yellow red and sweet potatoes are now all zero points so before you panic and go oh my god i could eat 75 potatoes in a sitting let's talk a little bit about portion control so whether you are following the blue the green or the purple you still need to watch your portions i have preached since day one that zero points does not equal zero calories so you still need to watch your portions do you need to weigh and measure not unless you want to can you eyeball a little bit more on the blue and purple plan yes but you still need to be aware of your portion sizes. So you can now have those whole grains and potatoes that are zero points on the purple plan. The purple plan also gives you 16 smart points 
per day to use on other things. So let's say that you wanna have a baked potato and on that baked potato, you wanna put some light butter and some light sour cream. The butter and the sour cream are going to have points and those will be deducted from those 16 smart points that you receive on a daily basis. So that is pretty much how the purple plan works. It is reminiscent of the old Simply Filling program. Not an exact duplicate of that because there is no bread on this purple plan that is zero points. On the old Simply Filling plan, there were certain breads that you could have that you didn't have to count. But on the new purple plan, you have to count all of your breads. They would play into those 16 smart points per day. So the purple plan is geared towards those individuals that don't necessarily want to track or maybe you want to track, but you don't. So the purple plan allows you the freedom to just mindfully eat the 300 zero point foods and use your 16 smart points daily to fill the gaps. So that is the gist, the overall of the purple plan. So again, I want to go ahead and read you exactly what WW says here about the purple plan. So it says purple guides you towards a long list of foods that form the basis of healthy eating. So the same start as all of the other plans with a modest smart points budget that you can spend on other foods that you love. You'll build meals around the 300 zero point foods that include fruits, veggies, lean proteins, whole grains, potatoes, and then of course you would track all of the other foods that aren't included on the 300 point food list. So that's the gist of purple. It definitely guides you towards when you are eating carbohydrates to choose whole grains or healthier versions of the carbohydrates because white rice isn't zero points, but brown rice is. So those are the types of things that the purple plan is going to guide you towards. It's going to definitely push you in the direction of the healthy foods, but it's giving you the freedom to eat potatoes and whole grains and count those as zero points. So those are the three programs that you now have the option to choose from. Now I wanna give you a few tips, tricks, little tidbits of information that we talked about at my workshop. So number one, along with freestyle still being an option for you, every single plan, whether you go blue, green, or purple is going to have weekly smart points. It is going to have rollovers and you are still going to be able to earn fit points. Also the wellness wins are staying. So you will still earn wins for tracking your food, weighing in, attending your workshop, all of the things that you earn wellness wins on now, you will continue to on the new program. So remember, what, no matter what color you choose, you still have weekly points, you still have the option for rollovers, and you still have fit points that you can use as well. So nothing has changed there. I'm happy that they are still giving us weeklies because this girl right here loves her weeklies. Now, whether you use those or not, they are there and they are available for you. And also I'm happy they're keeping the wellness wins because I like earning free little WW things along the way just for doing the program. I mean, how awesome is that? Free stuff for following the program. Number two is the assessment that we've all been hearing about that helps guide you to choosing the program that is best for you. Now, the assessment is available to new members only. So according to my leader, you can only take the assessment as a new member. And the reason for that is this, and this is what she said, quote unquote, we are current WW members. We know ourselves. We know our bodies. We can pretty much figure out what plan is going to work for us. So here's a really, really, really good example. Let's say that you're thinking about the purple plan. Are you a big carb eater? Do you like your pastas? Do you like your rice? Do you like your oatmeal? Do you like all of the things, potatoes, that are zero smart points on the purple plan? Do you think that you may overeat those items? If the answer to that question is yes, maybe the purple plan isn't right for you. So that's what she means by we are current WW members. We kind of have an idea what works for us and what doesn't work for us. So maybe just thinking about you as an individual and what tempts you, where your downfalls are on WW should help guide you in the direction of choosing the right plan for you. Now, on that same note, you have the option to change your plan. WW asks that you give it two weeks. So if you initially decide to stay on freestyle and then after two weeks, you kind of are feeling the need for a change or maybe the green or the purple program are calling your name, you can simply go into the settings in your app and switch your program. But 
give it a good go guys. Give it a couple of weeks. Don't just flip flop programs every other day or once a week. Really give the new program you're committing to a fair shake. You're not going to know if that program works for you if you don't give it a fair shake. So if you are a connect lover, there is going to be different groups for the different color plans. So there'll be a group that talks about blue, green, and purple. You can also use the hashtag blue, hashtag green, and hashtag purple to pin your posts to the corresponding boards. So once you've selected the plan that you want to follow, you should be able to connect with other members on connect and get all of the information on the plan that you've chosen. You can of course check out all of the connect boards on the other plans, but connect is also going to be tailored to fit each of the different colors of plans. Also, when the app rolls over and updates, which is not until Monday, so it does not actually update the app to take into effect the new programs until Monday, November 11th, your app will default to the blue program. So it will automatically pull up blue. If you want to switch to the green or the purple, you'll just go into the settings or the person on your app and you'll change the program to the one that you want to follow, whether that be the purple or the green. So again, your app, when it updates, is going to default to blue. And here's another couple things about the app. So the connect groups, the default to the blue plan, and also whatever recipes you have put into the recipe builder, so things that you've created, should, and I wanna stress the word should because my leader stressed that word, it should recalculate those points based on the color of program that you selected. So that is the hope, that is what WW has set up in the app, but don't panic if it doesn't because it's it hasn't been tested yet because the app hasn't actually rolled over into our recipes that we've created yet. So the recipes you've created in the builder should move over points wise to the program that you select. Also, when you go to search for recipes on the WW app, if you are on the purple plan, the recipes will have the points associated on the purple plan. If you're on the green plan, the recipes would calculate on the green plan. So all of the pieces of the WW app should tailor towards the color of program that you've chosen. Connect, the recipes, the recipe builders, and the actual color where you track will all correspond with the color of program you've selected. Now, what if you're an online only member? What the heck, how are you gonna get this information? So all of the literature online should update on November 11th, Monday, along with the app. Now, WW, apparently there was an uproar from the online members that they weren't actually gonna receive all of the new paperwork. So WW said, feel free to stop by your local workshop and attend a meeting for free. You cannot weigh in, but you can actually go to the meeting and you can pick up the literature at no charge. They say that November 16th is the day that they've designated for all of the online members to go to a workshop, not weigh in, remember you cannot weigh in, collect all of your new literature and sit in on the workshop. But I did chat with WW on the app today and she said that you could go to any workshop as an online member and sit in, not weigh in, and collect your new literature. So I would recommend checking out the next available workshop in your area. Now, if you don't have workshops in your area, again, all of the literature online should update to the new program materials and you should be able to get that same information online as you would in a workshop. They're just allowing you the opportunity to attend a workshop for free, just to sit in and ask your questions and kind of feed off of the other members that actually attend the workshops. So there's a couple of things that I wanna show you guys in the actual literature from WW. So no matter what plan you select to follow, there is a five day menu for every plan. So it really just kind of helps jumpstart your new plan if it is new to you. It's going to give you an entire menu for five days that you can follow. It gives you the smart points, it gives you the food, it literally sets you up for complete success. Also in the new literature, for every color group, no matter what color it is that you select, there is a cardboard, a much thicker card stock piece of your literature that looks like this. And this is the zero point food list for each color. So see how it says blue zero point foods? This actually folds right down the middle here 
and you can take it with you. So it's basically a pocket guide that you can take with you. And there is one for every color, the blue, the purple, and the green. So it's nice that they gave us that literature and that cute pocket guide that we can take with us. So you can just double check yourself, especially if you're following a new program, not the green, not the blue, but you're following the green or the purple. You'll have that list handy that you can just double check yourself before you go to track a food as zero points. So I love that. Uh, so there is just a handful of amazing information in this book. One thing about this book that I'm really happy that they brought back that they haven't had for a while. And actually, I haven't seen it for quite a while, and that's this. So this is the portion estimator. Do you guys remember this? Do you remember this from back in the day? This tells you by your hand what portions are. So it tells you the ounces in your fist, the ounces in a fingertip. I love this. So I'm glad that they decided to bring this back and put it back into the literature. Really smart move, WW. And the last thing that I want to touch on is something that is actually in this book that I find extremely interesting. And it is something that has been a question the entire time that Freestyle has been around. It's been a question I've addressed on videos. It's something I've been saying over and over, and that is about the zero point foods. So I wanna read the question and answer right here out of this book for you. The question is, can I eat as many zero point foods as I want? They're zero points, right? So we should be able to eat as many as we want. So let me read you what WW says. Zero point foods don't need to be measured or tracked, but that doesn't mean they are all you can eat. So remember that you guys, they're not all you can eat just because they're zero points. Sure, you could boil a dozen eggs and eat them in front of the TV, but you probably won't feel that good. That's for sure. Eating any food, even zero point foods, two extremes could make you gain weight, right? Because zero points doesn't equal zero calories. It's all about balance and becoming mindful of what you're eating. So that's the takeaway from Freestyle, that's the takeaway from the zero point foods. Let your weight be your guide. Your weight will tell you if you are overeating. Your weight will tell you what you did. You may not track your food, friends, but your body tracks your food. Let your weight be the guide to the zero point foods. Let your weight be the guide to the program that you select. I'm so grateful that WW allows us to switch programs. We can move from the blue to the green to the purple. We can find by trial and error which program works best for us. I'm also so thankful that WW did not take away freestyle because I know that freestyle has been a huge success for so many people. I also know that there's been a large handful of people that haven't been successful on freestyle. And unfortunately, I am one of those people. I haven't quite pinpointed why I haven't been successful on freestyle. I think the main thing for me is that I am one of those people that needs to track everything. I need to weigh, measure, and track it all. Otherwise, I still feel like I overeat. I may have chicken at zero points, but then I'll compensate with something pointed that maybe I don't want or that I don't need, or maybe I'm I just wanna eat it because I have points available. I find myself doing that as well. And that I think is one of the main things that has caused me to struggle on freestyle. And the other things are self-induced, of course, but I haven't quite pinpointed freestyle and why it hasn't worked for me, but I'm so internally grateful that I have the option now to pick a program that I feel is going to work better for me. So with that being said, I wanna share with all of you what program I am selecting and now, that's the subject to change. I may change my mind. I don't know that I will, but I may change my mind. And you know what? I may do a little video series and try another plan for a couple of weeks and see what the results are. I may do that. But the plan that I have selected that I'm going to change my app over to as of tomorrow, Monday, November 11th, is I am going green. I am going to the green plan. I am excited about it. Knowing myself and knowing that I am one of those people that needs to weigh, measure, and track everything, the green plan is a perfect fit for me. Not to mention, I did do smart points 
before Freestyle was brought out and was successful on Smart Points. I was extremely successful on the very old plan back in like 2003, four and five, which was one of the plans that you tracked everything. You didn't even get free fruits and vegetables. All right, I'm sorry, you got vegetables, but not fruit. So I'm going green. I am so incredibly excited to go green, you guys. I really, in my heart of hearts, feel that this is the best program choice for me. I can't wait to see my success. I seriously can't wait. I'm excited to learn the new program. I'm excited to work my recipes around that new program. And I'm excited to track everything. As weird as that sounds, I am excited to track everything. I know, I know that I'm going to be more successful. And with that, I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about how is this new three options of programs going to affect YouTube? That's a great question, you guys. And I think all of us YouTubers out there on WW are kind of wondering the same thing because there will be different point values based on the color of programs. So I am going to be doing the green program. So my recipes that I show you in meal prep, the recipes that I show you in like my comfort food videos, my what I eat in a day, my crock pot series, low carb, they are all going to be calculated under the green plan. However, the recipe is always linked in the description box. All you have to do if you follow blue or purple is plug that recipe into the recipe builder and you can determine what the smart points are on blue and on purple. Unfortunately for me, it would be a lot of work to keep switching my app through the different colors of programs to determine the smart points. And I think honestly, it makes sense for me and for other YouTubers to share the points of the program we're following. If you are going to be following blue or purple, I hope you stick around and I hope that you are still here for my channel, here for my recipes, because it is so easy to figure out what smart points my recipes are for you on the other plans by simply putting them into the recipe builder. So that's my plan moving forward. Team green all the way. I can't wait. I also wanted to let you guys know that I have done my meal prep for this upcoming week and I did it as freestyle. I will be recalculating the points into the green plan and I will be tracking it that way. Starting next week, all of my recipes will be under the green points. So my meal prep and the recipes that I'm showing you will be under the green plan. So that's it guys. I hope you are as excited as I am about the new changes. I do have to say that the consensus in my workshop this morning, I would say was 98% extremely excited about the changes. The other 2% wasn't not excited. They were just a little nervous about the changes, but overall people are thrilled that we have options that we can tailor our weight loss program to what works best for us. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new and this is your first video on my channel, I would love it if you would take a moment and hit that little subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified every time I upload. Please thumbs up this video. It helps my channel. A lot of work was put into putting this together for you guys, so I appreciate a thumbs up. And of course, comment down below. I wanna hear what plan are you going to be following and please, please feel free to leave any questions that you have down in the comments. Also, if you are not part of my Facebook group, I'm gonna put it right here on the screen for you. Head on over and join. All of your questions can be answered a lot faster that way. It is 10,300 people strong and they are amazing, positive, helpful, inspirational people that can answer your questions as well. I am going to be going live over on Facebook here shortly to talk about the new plans as well. So if you're seeing this video right when it goes up, head over to Facebook and join in on my live. You can ask your questions then. If not, please feel free to leave them down below and I will answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy day, way to go WW. I can't wait to see all of our success on the new programs. See you guys next time, bye.